Brian here again. Now playing groupings, groupings of three again under the paradiddle group. But last time we played one sixteenth note and missed two. Now we're going to play two sixteenth notes and miss one. Still a grouping of three. So over a pulse or a simple pulse, it'd be this. Two, three, four. One E, a two, and a G, E, and. We apply that to four, four times. We one E, a two, and a G, E, and. Four E, a one, and a G, E, and. Three E, a four, and a one E, and. Two E, a three, and a four E, and. Back to the start again. So try and get a head around that. So you're going to have one E. Slow. One E. One E, a two. And and up. It goes 4E, a 1, and a 2E, and it repeats itself. So you end up with this. Now in this case, it's all starting on 1E. It's going to start on 1E, then it's going to start on 4E, then 3E, and then 2E, back to 1E again after 3 bars of 4-4. Because it's a 3 bars pattern. 1E, a 2, and a 3E. So it starts on the count of one, then the count of four, count of three, count of two, count of two. Let's do it with the metronome. 100 BPM, and I'll, I'll say one, four, three, two, etc. Here we go. Three, four, one. Four. Three. I'm not thinking that when I'm playing, I'm just playing. I'm not counting numbers, I'm just filling it. Within a groove? Not that that's not a groove. Here we go. Two, three, four. I don't know what you want. Again, I like, like this. Same time. Three, four. Within the right song, I'll turn this off. Within the right song, uh, or the right, um, how do you say, groove or piece of music, it works really well just doing that. Because if you're playing with a bass player or a saxophone player or someone, someone who understands this concept of Butter, da 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 understand that uh, 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 da dung da dung on their instrument. You can do some play, create some very interesting music with this and tons of bands use this sort of stuff. Anyway, so that's uh groupings of threes. Playing being playing one sixteenth note missing uh, playing two sixteenth notes and missing one. One E, a two, and a G E and a one. And I don't know if you can see that that with um with your bass drum, please try and let that bass drum be able to bounce off the head rather than which is always smashing the second note in so loud because it sort of annoys singers and people who are, particularly people with perfect pitch. I've got a pretty good sense of pitch. It's really upsetting to the ear. Um, if you're going to bury the beater, make sure that it's clean. That's okay. What's something like a Kira Jimbo? He gets a very clean sound burying the beater. It works for him, as does Dennis Chambers. You've got to work at it though. It's easier getting these even sound bouncing off like Steve Gadd, Greg Bissonette. Virgil and Donati, Buddy Rich, most of the notes bounced off. Unless they want to, like a bomb, that's fine, that's awesome. Anyway, so enough of that. So um, your group is, group is a three in playing two sixteenth notes and missing, one, and missing one under the single paradiddle groove. Hope I'm not confusing you. Chris Bryan, over and out. Woohoo!